And that skepticism is one of the biggest challenges for CEOs. Well, the, but I speak to quite a lot of CEOs because of the, the talks I give. And what I hear from pretty much all of them is they, they understand that if they don't adopt AI now, then in 10 years time, their company probably won't exist. Their people kind of know this, but they often find that it, that the AI that they've tried, including large language models, doesn't quite do what they want. And people have a tendency to try a tool. And if it doesn't do exactly what they want, then they say, well, that didn't work. And then they put it down. And a surprising number of people have tried large language models, found them slightly disappointing, and haven't tried them again. So one of the biggest things that the C biggest problems that CEOs have is persuading their people to, uh, to keep experimenting with, with AI in their own lives and to keep using the AIs that the companies are developing. That skepticism is one of the biggest challenges for CEOs. But like I say, they, they know that they have to adopt AI because their competitors are. And if they don't, then they won't be around in five to 10 years. Really interesting. One of the big challenges I think going forward will be to avoid naive cost cutting. So it's going to be very tempting for businesses to identify people in their organizations who are doing robotic work, who are doing simple, uh, repetitive jobs, which could be automated, and then just letting those people go. Those people are the talent in, in the organization for a lot, for some time to come, who knows how long, but for some time to come, organizations need talent. So the, the smart move is to have people automate the jobs that they're doing today, and then to declare those people heroes and heroines and give them another job to automate. Say, so, right, go and learn how to do that job, and then automate that and you'll get another pay rise for doing that and then go and automate this other thing and and we'll give you a pay rise for that and and to redeploy the talent use the human talent to do more and more interesting things because for some time there are going to be things which humans can do and machines can't do and so what you want is is loyal stimulated interested and happy and uh, people who feel who feel that they are uh, valued you want them doing those 